Chris from the Washboard Union, um, you are not on your beautiful ranch this morning. In fact, you are in a hotel room in Vancouver. In a hotel room in the city, yeah. How does this feel, um, you know, post-CCMA weekend compared to other ones in the past? Look, it's obviously different. Um, and, and we were ready for that. But coming off the high that we've had the last two days, it, it still feels the same way. Um, we had two really big wins for the band this weekend, and, and I'm just so excited for, for us and for our team. Our team has worked so hard the last few years. They give every bit of credit they deserve or they can get. Like our band and our crew and our team at, at Warner and Sakamoto, they're, just, they're awesome people. They deserve the recognition. So this award is for all of their efforts, um, and we're just we're thrilled. And they won some awards, but you guys as a band also took home uh, Roots Album of the Year for Everbound, but also fifth time, uh, yeah. but also uh, you won Group of the Year for a third year, like for third year, which is like, how do you, how do you even top it now? I don't. <laughs> I really don't know. We were, uh, we were not <laughs> expecting that by any means. I don't think we've ever been expecting that to win Group of the Year. I mean, that's the pinnacle award for bands, mm -hmm. uh, bands. And, and for us, it's just, we won it last year standing with our friends in Old Dominion and then this year to win it. We were on a, a call with um, Warner Music and all the other Warner artists were on the call with us. So we got to um, share the win with like High Valley and uh, Aaron Goodman and Megan and Brett and Nice Horse. And, and it was just, it's incredible. So it was such a great feeling to win it three times in a row. And someone told us last night that that hasn't happened in a decade, which is pretty incredible. <laughs> So we're over the moon. We're absolutely over the moon. And I remember us talking about Everbound and how uh, that all came together and how stoked you are about that album. So yeah. for, you know, just separating the other years that you've won for that album to win for, for Roots, like that's pretty special. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, that's a record we're particularly proud of. And I think, you know, we'll always be remembered as coming out in a very strange time in the world. And um we talked about this last time, but Everbound had this underpinning current of hope in it. Um, and it just felt like it was important to put that record out during this time. And I'm so glad that we did now. Um, you know, not because it's, it's won an award, but just the fact that it's out there and, and people, we get so many notes from people um, who are, you know, somehow attracted to one particular aspect of that record. And it's just incredible. And then, you know, the other records too, we just got a note from, uh, a school in Colorado that plays Shine every morning to get people excited. And it's an elementary school in, in Colorado, not far from Denver. And I, like that, how can you not feel amazing as a songwriter when that a song that you created in some small little room has found its way to Denver, Colorado, to an elementary school and is giving something to somebody who needed it at that time? Or how many kids, right? Right. It's just, it's the greatest feeling in the world. So again, looks a little bit different uh, post CCMA award weekend. Yep. Maybe you're a little more um, less hungover <laughs> this morning <laughs> than most. But what is what does tonight look like? Yeah. So what we wanted to do was as soon as we had the the wins last night, we decided that we wanted to throw a party to thank our fans. So we're going to do a fan appreciation after party where we are going to post up in a uh, backyard in Vancouver. And we are going to stream live on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We're going to perform. We're going to do prize giveaways. We're going to, we're going to talk and hang out and, and just say thanks to the people that mean the most to us. I think that's very special that, you know, despite everything looking different, you still know that that is a number one priority is to thank the people that made it all worth it. It is the only reason. Absolutely. They are the greatest. And, and our fans have kept us, um, in contact but they've kept us going they've been so supportive i mean we did these quarantine sessions so that we could do acoustic takes on all of our songs um from our three home studios because we'd obviously been distancing and um people were just like when is the next one coming out when are you doing this and so it's, it's fantastic and then they were suggesting songs that they wanted to hear so um yeah this is a thank you to them for sticking with us and being so supportive over the years and like any who came to a washboard show or told a friend about us for the first time. Um, it's just a, a great opportunity to give back and say thanks. Well, congratulations. And we're very proud for, me, for you from afar in Ontario. 
That's awesome. And I'm so glad to see you healthy and happy and, and doing well.